Hey guys, how you doing? It's Keptech here bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. And today I want to do real life tickets. So if you guys don't follow me or you guys know about me, I usually make real life tickets. So basically I grab tickets based on real life scenarios and then I show you how I resolve it and how I close it. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, do IT videos, desktop support videos, so about how to get into IT. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, that way you know when I go live, all right? Greatly appreciate it. Let me share my screen with you and show you what tickets we're going to work on today. These are fun tickets, by the way. You, you're probably going to learn something from this one, actually. There's a lot of information, actually. So let me share my screen with you, all right? Give me a second. So I'm going to go with share screen one. Uh, let me open my tickets. And let's, uh, let's knock them out one by one. I'll show you how to handle them. So ticket number one, urgency, please help. And it's actually high. Like their priority is extremely high. So see what, see what happens here. Uh, good morning. Someone accidentally deleted the help desk account on our domain. Oh, ah, crap. Someone de deleted it. So usually in, in help desk or IT support, we never delete accounts. Just remember that. We usually disable them um, for, for, for compliance reasons, HR reasons. You will never see a, uh, an environment. Let me just stop sharing for a second. Sorry. So I have to go over this because I don't, want you, I don't want you to get in trouble or I don't want you to get fired if you're doing it. So um, usually in an, in an IT environment, we don't delete accounts. Uh, we disable them. So if someone deletes an account in Active Directory, you're going to get in trouble. Don't do that. Please do not do that. Okay. Um, you can disable the account. Obviously, you got to get proper approval for that. Obviously, when someone leaves the company, you disable the account because they might they might be, they might come back. You don't know. They might come back to the same company or you might be able to use, use that, a specific account for somebody if someone else needs it, if that makes sense. So we don't do that. We don't delete accounts. But this is super, super important because someone accidentally deleted a help desk account. And if you know anything about IT, some companies have one account only for help desk. And then if someone tries to, if someone's like, that account is completely gone, then how are you supposed to do anything? And you can't even elevate your account or do anything. So that's why I figured I'd make a ticket on this because this, this does happen in real life, by the way. So let me go back. All right. Sorry about that. I just have to tell you what's going on. Okay. Because I have to be realistic with this. So actually, so someone accidentally deleted the help desk account on our domain. Can someone please restore help desk account on the computer? So it says on the computer. I don't know what that means. Our team can't do anything because someone deleted the account. So, and then obviously I'm gonna I'm gonna get a hold of Travis, who's the IT director, and I'm gonna tell him. Okay, so what, what do you need me to do? He said, oh, Kevin. Uh, he, I call him Kevin. Um, someone deleted the account. You just enable the account. Oh, okay. Someone deleted an Active Directory. Oh, okay, that makes more sense now. I'm like I'm, I'm confused now. Why why are you saying that? So, let me move this to the side. Um, you know, obviously I do everything in the virtual lab. So uh, I have the account right over. I have I have to look for the account. So it's a help desk account. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to look for a help desk account. So I'm gonna right click here, I'm gonna find, I'm gonna hit find. I'm gonna type help desk. And it's not here for some reason because I, I you know, he deleted it. So where is this? This is Active Directory uses the computers. That's where I went. So in order for you to restore the account, you need to do, you need to, you need to um, have a recycle bin on Active Directory. How do you enable the recycle bin? I enable it already, by the way, and I'll show you how to do it. So basically I go here you're gonna go to this one. It's called Active Directory Administra Administrative Center. Click on that. You click on Kevtech, whatever your domain is, and you click Enable Recycle Bin. I did that already. So then what you wanna do is you go to Deleted Objects, you right click on it, you hit Restore. So then when you close out of this and you go back to Active Directory Users and Computers, it's right there. Help Desk is right there. So then I, I'll, I'll, call, I'll call Travis. Let me just minimize this. I'm like, hey, uh, hey, Travis, uh, can you tell can you tell me to, to to check the the domain controller again? It should be there right now. I just restored it. It should be there now. So you should be good with this. And then like, yeah, it's working now. Thank you, Kevin. And I'll close out the ticket. So then, I'm close the ticket, and uh, we're done. Actually, you know, obviously you put notes on this. Let me go back to the ticket. Uh, let's see if I can add a note. I enable the account for our director. And you know, you just close out the ticket. And I private note, and it's done. And that's it. All right, next second. Reinstate Molly. What is this? Uh, good morning. Can someone in a, can someone please enable Molly's account? I'm not sure what what the process is, but she came back to the firm and she needs to log into her machine. Her computer name is Desktop Two. Her account isn't working for some reason. Can someone reach out to her? So at this point, this is the HR director. So at this point, she got reinstated. She got hired back. That does happen sometimes. So someone leaves the company and they might come back again. So you have to enable the account again, if that makes sense. So basically what I do is I go into um, I go into my Active Directory using the computers again. 
and I'm going to go check on the account. So her name is Molly. So let's look for Molly. So I'm going to go here. Um, I see it right here. It looks like it's disabled. So since I got the approval from it, I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to hit enable account. I'm going to go to computers and see if it's there. And it's there. I'm going to hit enable account. And then I'm going to go to her desktop too. So I'll call, I'll give her a call, I'll give her a buzz. And I'll tell her, oh, can you, can you try to log in again, Molly? And then, you know, I'm going to go here. Obviously, she, since she came back to the firm, she's not going to know her password. So I'm going to, re, I'm going to give her a temporary password. So I'm going to, I'm going to do password change on next login. So basically what you're doing, you're right clicking on it and you're hitting reset password. And then you hit this option that says, uh, user must change password next login. And then I'm going to, I'm going to give her a temporary password. Maybe welcome one exclamation point. Welcome one exclamation point. She let me change it. There we go. And then I'm going to, because she hasn't been here in a really long time. So her, her username is M West. So Molly, your username is M West. And your password is going to be welcome one capital W with an exclamation point. Try logging in. So then you're going you're gonna to have her go to other user, M West. And it's going to be welcome one. Let's come ahead and see if I let her log in. See? It says user must change password before signing in. How do you know this is desktop too? Well, obviously, you go to other user. Uh, just to show you guys that I'm not, you know, I'm not. It's not just a random desktop. It's desktop too. I just enabled the account. So I literally went to computers. I right clicked on it, hit enable. I went to her account. I right clicked on it, enable. So she should be able to log in now. So I'm going to do MOS again. Uh, welcome one exclamation point. Okay. And we're going to do whatever password we want. So just pretend to log in as her. That makes sense. She should be able to log in. And she's in, and that's it. Simple as that. So now she's logging in. We're gonna just close that ticket, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go back here and close that ticket. I'm adding a note to it. Um, Molly West was able to log in. I enabled her machine and her account. I re I called her, called her, and gave her a temp password, and she changed it. So that's how you got you gotta put notes on everything. I always put notes on everything. And I close the ticket and I'm all done with that one. All right. Next ticket. Password encryption. What is this? Uh good morning. I'm trying to save a file document over with a password. Do we have any program that allows us to do this? So first thing you want to do is this is regards Steven. So first thing you want to do is you want to know if your company has some sort of encryption uh, application. So some companies use WinRAR, some companies use seven zip. And then some companies use the default Microsoft password encryption. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you how to how to just use a random like um, a, a random. Uh, let me just grab a random file, any file. If I could if I could get a Word document, or I just let me just make a brand new Word document and show you. So it's going to be it's going to be called tests. So how do you put a password on? Um, you you actually go into it. And you see this protected document, it's right here. Encrypt with password. And you're gonna put a password in there. So then when you, what you do is you do save, browse. Uh, I'm gonna put it on, on the downloads folder. I'm gonna hit that, close out of it. I'm gonna go back here, downloads, test. And it should prompt me for a password. So that's basically how you put a password in. So one, two, three, four, five. And then you go to file, protected item. And then you basically, you could you could get rid of it if you like. And that's it. You know, now it's gone. So that, that's what I would do. I mean, obviously, there are other alternatives. Um, but you have to get approved from your company, obviously. So there's WinRAR. Um, that, that does it, actually. It's a password encryption. And there's 7-zip. This is also a password encryption. So I'm going to do, I'll do the Microsoft alternative. I'll do the Microsoft way. Obviously, you got to prove and do the Microsoft way. That's what I would do. If it was me, if it was me, you know, that's what I would do. I wouldn't use another program or download another program because you don't know if it's like it goes against protocol for your company. They may not let you download anything. So I would use the default app that comes with Microsoft, if that makes sense. All right. Uh, helped Steven enable. Uh, helped Steven add a password to his Word document. He is good to go. So I says this note goes to a uh, help desk going. And then that's it. And you just close it. 
last ticket for today. Although we not working. So this is a little tricky, this one. So this is actually a real ticket, by the way. I had this issue before, and I don't know why. I don't know what, what was that all about, but I fixed it. Um, good morning. For some odd reason, my Adobe will not open any hyperlinks. So let's see what happens when, when they, this is Megan. So let's see what happens. Do I have the doc, do I have a document here of that? I think I do. I saved one today. Uh, let me show you what it is this one. So she just pretend it's just pretend it's another hyperlink. It could be youtube.com or whatever. So she, she clicks on it and it doesn't work. Adobe Acrobat does not allow connection to this. Click on it again. It doesn't work. It's a web, it's a website. It's supposed to work. So if you get the, if you get, this is a real life ticket, by the way, if you get this issue, you have to, you have to allow it. So what do I mean by that? I'll show you right now. So you go to, you go to file. I learned, I learned this like a week ago. I haven't, uh, so I'm like, I'm gonna make a ticket on this. Go to file. Um, you have to look in, you have to look in here somewhere. I'll show you where it is. Uh, this is security enhance. So it's actually in here somewhere. You have to allow it. So I'm trying to remember where exactly is it. Yeah, like there's a lot of stuff here you could do on this on this um on this thing. Oh, here he goes. Trust manager. Sorry, my fault. I just I don't <laughs> remember. Yeah, so you, so it got blocked apparently. So what you had to do is you hit delete, you hit okay, you hit okay. And let's go back to it just to show you what I did because I probably went too fast. I'm sorry about that. So it's actually it's actually uh trust manager. And right here is you allow it, you can allow all sides, you can block all sides, you do custom. Um, I, 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 in our environments, always ask. We don't do block or allow because you know, can people then it's gonna be a problem. Then you gotta get a, you gotta get a hundred calls. Oh, it don't work. It don't work. You know, so you leave it alone. Leave all this alone. Default is custom. Default is always ask. So then what happens is, let's go back to the file. You click on it. Remember this action for this site. You hit allow, and it should let you open it. And that's it. That's pretty much it for today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna close this ticket. I'm gonna put. Uh, site was blocked on Adobe settings. Site has been enabled through Trust Manager. That's what it's called, Trust Manager. Let me just double check. So that, that's because you have to close ticket with proper notes. You can't just close it and say, oh, I fixed it, you know. So yeah, Trust Manager, change settings, always ask. Uh, I put Adobe Trust Manager Change Settings Allow. Let me just double check, make sure that's the right thing. Change settings, custom settings, always ask. Custom settings. Always ask. And if someone asks me about this, like, oh, you got to go here and you have to do it over here. And that's it. So I'm going to close this out. And we are good to go. And that's it. That's all the tickets for today. Try not to make it complicated. I don't want to confuse you guys. Stop sharing. Anyway, um, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. I hope this helps out somebody if they're new to IT or they're doing help desk or IT support. And I hope you guys have a great Sunday. All right. Take care. Peace. Later.